Hello everybody, today I'm talking to the amazing Abby Cleave. Now Abby runs Skin Sense, which was in the January box. She's also the founder of Ultrasun, which is going to be coming up later in this year. She is an incredible woman, an incredible supporter of the beauty industry, and I'm absolutely thrilled to have her on board. Abby, welcome. Oh, thanks Karen, it's an absolute pleasure to be here. Of course it is. <laughs> It's January, it's cold. Absolutely, where, who, where, where, where else would I want to be? Where else would you want to be? Right, now we are talking about these two amazing products that we managed to, we managed to get from you very kindly into the January box. So this one is the Glycolic Peel and Reveal Pad. And this is the Retinol Double Strength Night Serum. However, yeah. before we get that, talk to us about Skin Sense and what the, what the brand is. Well, as you mentioned very kindly, and thank you, um, I have been in this industry for 25 years now. Um, bringing a talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get that old. Um, and originally, I, I suppose most people would associate me with Ultrasun, which is a um, long lasting sun protection. Yeah. And I'm going back, we bought Ultrasun here. No one had ever heard of it. It had never hit the UK. And it's really looking at the damage that UVA and UVB do to our skin. And in pursuing that journey, I was very privileged and have met sort of world global experts on skin and how our skin is oxidizing daily and what the, you know, the things we know, the external aggressors and, and what they are doing and how they are breaking our skin down and how that's transferring into aging. And the more I learned, the more I was became so passionate about giving people information. That's that's the job. There are amazing products out there and there is a wonderful choice. And I, I'm really delighted about that genuinely. But if you don't know what's going on and if you don't have the, the sort of the tools and the, the real knowledge and the real truth about what's in those products in what potency, how they're gonna deliver for you, it's really hard to make a decision. And as we go through life, our skin changes, the needs change. Um, so more and more I found that as I was telling the world about ultrasound and about UVA aging damage to the skin and, and how to prevent and protect yourself, I was finding that people were coming to me more and more with their skincare issues and, and what would work well for them and showing me various sort of issues, problem areas, maybe going through menopause, maybe things have changed, extra stresses. And I started to really study on that side as well. And again, very lucky to, to be, have sort of exposure to, to real, you know, absolute leaders in this industry. And I started to ask actually the questions that were being asked of me. Um, and really that's how Skin Sense came about because I soon realized that there wasn't that sort of power range in the industry there was there's lots of ranges there's lots of beautiful products that you might go to daily but what i wanted to deliver is when you need help this is who you call and and that's what skin sense was about also with ultra sun which lasts right through the day even if you're in and out of water even if you're towel drying or perspiring i sort of asked the formulation team look guys we can keep spf which is notoriously hard to formulate with on people's yeah, skin yeah. right through the day, even if they're doing sport and they're towel drying, you know, sensitive skins. Why aren't we doing that with all these amazing skincare ingredients? You know, we've all heard of, well, not all of us, but a lot of people have heard of hyaluronic acid and coenzyme Q10 and vitamin C for the skin. Why aren't we locking that in, in this same technical way? Um, and that really was the moment I went, right, we've got to do something because we can take that same structure, it's called a lamellar structure, that we've used all this time in ultrasound to hold those products in your skin not stick them not with silicones and sort of almost skin glues but actually hold them in your skin system we can now do that with really hard working anti-aging and hydrating ingredients and that's what delivers a result and that's when i went okay now i'm really excited now i'm mortgaging the house and telling the kids sorry that's the end of the allowance um <laughs> mum's making a skincare range and got to work with these amazing formulators again and put our heads together and it took years I'll be honest it took about four years to bring it to the point where I knew we were making a difference and that's what it's about that sort of real many people use skincare day in day out don't get that wow moment when you skin sense you wake up and go oh gosh actually that has made a difference and that's what it's all about yeah I've got to say it really does do that it's it's an incredible range how did you manage to get product to stay on the skin so lamella, what that means, lamella, if you looked it up in the dictionary, you'd see it would say sort of layers. Think like, um, like a laminate. Yeah, think of like a suit of armour or even an armadillo and the way they're made. 
Yeah. And what lavender structures are in cosmetic science is where we take the ingredients we want, could be SPF and UVA protection in ultrasun, could be a retinol or a hyaluronic acid in skincare, and we encapsulate it in a little shell that the skin understands. And they're all little layers. So imagine you threw a, a ream of paper out of a, a skyscraper window and you'd see them all float down at different speeds. That's exactly what lamellar structures do within the skin. So we're not just treating the surface. Obviously we want glowy, hydrated looking surface skin, but of course our skin is a whole system. Yeah. And we need to actually look after the skin coming through the system as well as what's on top. So this lamellar technology means that it's fed right the way through. Now, the great thing is, that means it feel, It means your makeup goes on straight away. You could be using their minerals, you know, powder foundation, um, and it disappears. It's not greasy or sticky, so it's really, which people find with ultrasun, but also obviously with skin scents. So that's ideal, but what that really means is it's getting to where you need it. But it's not so fine that it's passing straight through the skin system. It's actually proven to, to be held in the skin system for eight to 10 hours. So if you've ever had that moment, and I promise you I have many years ago for, you know, suffered with this, you moisturized in the morning, did your routine, skin looked pretty good, pretty pleased with that. Felt confident all day, came home from work at sort of 6 p.m., 7 p.m., looked in the mirror, I was like, oh my gosh, all the makeup's fallen into the, you know, it's all back. It's like I never put any moisturizer on. And that's the difference. This is locked in. So it's like time release, giving you that, that sort of hydration, giving you those super sort of lifting, tightening effects. And I, I love it particularly when we're using stronger ingredients like retinol, where a lot of people have been put off or shy away from retinols because they have a sensitive skin, they're worried about redness, irritation, maybe their skin's playing up a bit with stresses, menopause, hormonal changes going on. And we can make retinol still potent, but really secure so that you don't have to go through a few weeks of your skin playing up. You get the, the great effects, but without those negative effects as well. And this is why I love talking to brand founders because we never get that from the back of the box. No, no there's, there's no text small enough that you could get one of my sentences even on there. <laughs> it's just, it's just fantastic. It's just incredible when you when you describe it like that. Right. Okay. Now let's go go on to these two amazing products. So we've had yes. these box. Let me tell you how I've told um, subscribers to use them, and you tell me where I've gone wrong. So <laughs> I've said with these. Yeah, um, these are glycolic acid and glycolic acid is basically there to exfoliate the top layer of skin and just turn help turn those cells over. I've suggested they use one of these at night after cleansing. How would you use it? Yeah, so absolutely right at night time. And yep. glycolic acid sounds a bit <laughs> scary, yeah. but of course it's fruit based acids, it's sugars and it, it breaks down dead matter so it's not going to attack your your living skin system unfortunately we carry quite a lot of dead skin cells on a sort of you know microscopic level on our skin and that dulls the skin it also um not only does the skin look dull but it means that our products can't actually get through so you know you could be wasting moisturizers effectively you're not um getting the products where you want them and we want to reveal the renewed skin it looks more youthful more buoyant more radiant and our products are getting through a lot quicker. What glycolic actually does, it doesn't um, remove the dead skin cells. What a lot of people say, what it does is it breaks down the connective tissue that's holding on to those dead skin cells. Um, so they're still, the connective tissue is actually stronger than the skin cells. So that has already expired. It's done its job for you. New skin cells are coming through, but the connective tissue is still holding on to it. What these acids do, they just break that down. So you can almost sort of very gently slough off this wonderful sort of, you know, get rid of all of that to reveal that fresh skin. For me, after cleansing and toning, this would be something that I would use. Um, you get 30 pads in the, in the pot. I'm sure people know who have got the, the box. They're also very, very heavily soaked. There is nothing I find more frustrating than whether it's a nail varnish removing pad or a skin pad or a makeup wipe. Not that I advocate using them anymore, but I did used to. When, yeah. they're, when you sort of think, mm, that's a bit dry on the skin or I've got to use three. One of these is so super soaked. It's fine for the whole face, the neck, the decollete. It's, they are really, really well soaked because that is a passion of mine. And you take that and you literally take it right around the skin. Pay attention to little areas where um, we get less, um, where because of the, the sort of the, the shape of the skin, we lose less dead skin cells. So any little nooks and crannies, 
Um, and also pay attention anywhere that's a problem area for you. If it's sort of number 11s, which I get because I'm always frowning at my kids, um, or maybe it's around the crow's feet, we're or maybe frowning, it's something. we're concentrating, Abby. I'm concentrating on feet. their beauty and their magic. That's what I'm doing. Um, but yes, yeah, so use those at night. Now, normally I would say, actually, you only need to use them about twice a week. So okay. that, be, you know, it's not something, I'm not advocating a huge sort of Korean beauty routine where you have to do 25 steps before you get into bed. I'd say twice a week will just allow your skin to remove those, um, break down those connectors, remove that dead skin, reveal really renewed skin in the morning. And if you want to, because they're very well soaked, you can leave, once you've, you've done that, the, the product is still there. Now, if you want to go over the top with hydration, you can. But I would say that on one of those times of your twice a week, so once a week, make that the last thing on your skin because it's very gentle. It is all natural, these acids, and it will just keep breaking down. And then in the morning, when you cleanse your skin, you get this real bounce of radiance. So that's sort of twice a week. So let's think you get 30, so you've got 15 weeks. So nearly nearly four months, over three months. Yeah, that's amazing. In there. Um, and honestly, you don't need to use them anymore. You, here, more is not more. Okay, you won't get better results for using them every night. So twice a week, absolutely perfect. Then you also mentioned the, the retinol. Hold on, pads, yes. eye area, not eye area. Yes, you can. Yes, you okay. can. It's natural acids, so it's absolutely okay. fine. Um, and I mean, if you are super, super, super sensitive and you know that products really bring out, always do a quick patch test. Just pop it, pop the pad, dab one under your ear and, and give it a few hours. But they have been tried and tested and, you know, obviously dermatologically tested. But actually, we are talking about natural acids here, but very effective. I will say there is patch testing instructions on our website. If anyone's interested, go to our FAQs. And they, we always say patch test. If you've not tried yeah, it before. Yeah, also, our, I think our skin is all changing. Yeah, it You know, is. go through different stages. And it doesn't have to, I mean, we often say, if you're going through menopause or if, you know, lots of stress, actually our skin's changing all the time. Yeah. And, you know, so many people come to me, and it must be the same with you, Karen, and say, I can hardly even tolerate water on my skin at the moment. You know, my skin, it, it was always fine, and suddenly it's not. And there's, they can't really find a specific reason um, so it is really important to look after yourself. I think there's so much going on for everybody at the moment and has been all year. So, yeah. you know, just be aware. Don't get cross with yourself. It will probably come back to normal, but just look, you know, it's, it's that self-care moment, isn't it? It is that self-care moment. Right, because <laughs> you and I are so good at. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Actually, Abby, I, I, I'm getting better at it, but the problem is, you know, life is so busy. I'm not as good as I should be. And I tell everyone all the time to do self-care. I know. And you, so do I. And then, yeah. I, I honestly, I'm like a self-care bore the way that I lecture other people. Yes. You need to look after yourself. Take those few moments. It could be two minutes in the bathroom. And then yeah. at night, I'm sort of going, right. So I think it's, it's, you know, physician heal thyself. I think this is something that we heal all thyself. need to do. Yes. Um, you know, and, just both this year. Let's start off, even if you start off with a couple of minutes, you know, it doesn't have to be a, an hour of Zen time, you know, meditating and, and you know, having your, your mm. wonderful warm blanket and your moment. Maybe that's just not going to fit in with life and, and who you need to look after at the moment. But yeah, two minutes in the bathroom, just look at yourself in the mirror, kind of give yourself the proverbial well done and yeah. you know, a little bit of even the smallest amount of massage to the skin really yeah. aids that circulation. And that's, you know, I'll be really honest that I'm a skincare provider, you know, that's what I do, producer. But, you know, that massage, we all know if you've ever been lucky enough to have a facial, it makes such a difference. So if you can just, rather than a quick um, hydrate and sleep, you just take a moment to, to allow that process, even two minutes as a starting point, it really does pay dividends. And for you, obviously, feeling a bit, you know, a bit like you do matter. You you are important. Yes, we're going so to do face massage. Like everyone else has got that. It's just you and me. <laughs> right, this one. Yes, the retinol. Yeah. I'm um, super, super proud of this one, I've got to say, because um, I'm a bit funny about retinols. I'm a bit lectury as well about um, retinols. Um, retinol is such a buzzword, and there are two types. There's um, plant-based retinol, which is basically a retinol imitator. And then there is synthetic retinol. Um, I'll explain a little bit more. So what retinol does is it almost sort of aggravates the skin. That's what it's there for. It's vitamin A and it almost sort of pokes the skin into activity and reminds the skin to defend itself. And so 
our little processes, our metabolism, it all speeds up a bit like how it was sort of 20 years ago, basically for our skin. And that's what retinol does. And in your skin defending itself from the vitamin A, which is a little bit, um, I wouldn't say irritating, but it's, it's sort of poking it and saying, come on, function. Um, that renewed sort of energy we see as um, a more youthful looking skin. So it could be tackling lines and wrinkles. It could be um, larger pores. Retinol is amazing. If you're seeing larger pores, maybe across the T-zone um, and slackened skin, where we've lost that elastin could be around the jawline and you're starting to, to feel a bit drawn or paper thin. The skin feels really, especially with the weather so cold, then yeah. we come into heating, we whack the car heating on after we've you know been out for a walk or whatever. Um, that can be, that can really um, irritate the skin. Now, retinol, I mentioned there's natural and there's synthetic. Natural retinol, retinols are basically retinol um, mimickers. So they do have the similar effect. Um, and then there's synthetic retinol. And that's where we produce a retinol. We can be really clean and clear about exactly the potency. Um, we can keep it really level and we can guarantee results. Now, I use an amazing synthetic retinol, which I handpicked. And I have to tell you, I tried, we can go up to 1% of, you might see yeah. retinols that say they're 2.7 2 or, but they're, they're gonna be plant-based mimickers. They're not real retinol. With real retinol, which creates amazing results, you can go up to 1% before you're prescribed, you know, prescribed yeah. sort of um, product. So this product, I'll be absolutely open. It's a 0.6% retinol. Now, why 0.6, you may well ask. I went up in 0 0.025 of a percent. I went from 0.3 to the 1% in our testing and at every level looked at results versus any form of irritation, any beginning of redness for the consumer. And at 0.6, we got the most amazing results, really no better with 0.7, I'll be honest, in our tests, but we got zero irritation and redness and so i could confidently say to people who've never used retinol before who have been scared who are thinking i need to do something maybe even thinking of having certain procedures done at some point but thought well maybe i should try retinols first i've never done that this is going to make a real difference it is a, a lightweight serum um just to show you it disappears into the skin really easily totally breathable it's not sticky or greasy has a a bit of a smell when you first put it on. Um, that's normal, retinal smells, yeah. But within, because of the lamellar structure, it's taken into the skin. So now that, I, genuinely, if we have smelly vision, that's completely gone. So don't be put off and think, oh, because within 20 seconds, 30 seconds, that has completely gone. Yep. Very smoothing, but the retinal is in there. Now that's being released in this lamellar way. So really gently released right through the night. This is very much a nighttime product. Um, two reasons. Retinol challenges the skin enough. So we don't want daylight, UVA, whether it's winter or summer, on the skin when you're using retinol because you're already giving your skin quite a challenge. You don't need to have the onslaught of UV rays. But actually also, UV breaks down retinol. So if you are using a retinol product in the daytime, the moment you're exposed to natural daylight, that's being broken down on your skin and it's not working. So you could be spending a lot of money and you're not getting the results. So I'd say any retinol product, make it a nighttime product, Even, you know, not necessarily skin sense, but if you love retinols or you're already using them, keep that to your nighttime routine for sort of maximum bang for your buck, if you like, but you know, to get the best possible results. Also, we put um, hydration in there, hyaluronic acid, something called lime fill, a plant-based hydration called trailos. So your skin is being nurtured whilst it's being challenged. Um, I have to say when this was in lab sample um, time, uh, firstly, they all disappeared. Normally we get about 50 samples. The, the eight people that work on skin sense just kept coming back for more and saying, no, I, I actually need that in my routine now. <laughs> I'm no longer testing it, I'm using it, I'll be honest. So that, they disappeared quickly. Um, and also um, we, when, when um, we were in, in lab sample stage, I hadn't told my partner that I was doing anything particularly different because I'm testing products all the time. And it, after about six days, he turned around and said, right, I, I don't know what it is you've done, but you're doing something different because your skin is looking really radiant first thing oh, so, oh, says that. <laughs> <laughs> so I you know I have to I have to pay him and, and make him do these things but um yeah so that's uh so I I can with all sort of my with my reputation in my hands I can say to people just 
try it. This is going to make a difference to your skin. And again, you can use this safely every night, but if you want to, you know, just bring this into a routine when you've got that time, you could use this a couple of times a week to boost other serums because it is important to have a range of products. Your skin can get a bit stuck if you're not, you know, giving it lots of different nutrition and seasonally based products as well. So it could be that as we go into spring, summer, you're gonna, you know, as we go into summertime, especially you, you're looking at more vitamin complexes, more collagen and hydration, but winter is a great time to do a retinal routine, maybe just for two or three months, a couple of times a week and give your skin that boost, especially now when we're all feeling a bit dull anyway, and we're all a bit fatigued. Yeah, I mean, I, I find it a real struggle that every day, the weather is just a gray day. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, it, it's not like you've got the changes that you get in summer where you get really bright light and, uh, yeah. a bit of rain or a bit of cloud you've just got gray the whole time yeah. I'm looking forward to that sort of mid-February you know when you suddenly go oh even though it's cold that the sky becomes blue as opposed to that yeah. gray yeah that will be nice and I, I sometimes feel we, we feel that reflected on our skin which yeah. is why I think January is a really great time to just go right I'm going to really feed nourish and look at my skin and learn what my skin wants <laughs> especially if you live in a more urban area and you've got pollution because this low gray cloud cover is obviously keeping that yeah. in our system and and that does play havoc with your skin so you know if anything if you do live in an area that that is particularly urban and and then we really need to think about how you're cleansing to to get that pollution out of your skin because that will give you a, a real revived look to the skin as well but that's a whole nother subject whole nother subject we'll oh another subject now, Abby, thank you so much for going through oh, that. It's been lovely really to be here. Thank you so much for having me, Karen. No problem. And you'll be back later in the year with Ultrasun. I know you will. Yes, I will happily be back. I'd love to be back, but you'll have to tell me to shh, shh. Because you, <laughs> you know how I can become the sun care bore, but that's great. I'm great at parties. <laughs> Listen, I don't tell anyone to shush. It's, it's <laughs> no point. No point. <laughs> Abby, thanks so much. Have an amazing day and we'll catch up soon. Thanks.